An organization's modern security policy these days will have a privacy policy as part of the standard things that they offer for their end users. Everyone who comes to your website, all of your customers generally get or can see this privacy policy. And inside of that privacy policy is going to be an explanation of what you do or can do with their personally identifiable information. As people leave their names and their birthdays and their social security numbers and their address information, they need to be aware of how you are using this information. Are you selling it to other resources? Are you sharing it with third parties? That's something that needs to be well documented right up front and people can decide for themselves whether they'd like to leave that personally identifiable information with you. Not everybody really understands how important this data is. We're putting so much information on the internet in so many different places that often it gets lost in all of that noise that occurs out there on the internet. And if you're working with the data day to day, it becomes a normal part of what you do. You almost forget that this large amount of information that you have access to is something that is very, very private to someone else. So you have to maintain and make sure the people inside of your organization understand how important and how private this information is. There have been some very public instances where this has not been the case. For instance, in September 2005, the UCLA Medical Center, Britney Spears gave birth. It's a very well-known celebrity, and unfortunately, people inside of the hospital accessed those records that had nothing to do with this particular case. And in this particular case, uh, as a result of that, several people were fired in the hospital just by looking at those records. Those records were private information, and the people who did not have a need to see them did not really need to go into those and have a look at those particular medical records. And so they were dismissed. It's an unfortunate thing, but it's something people need to be made aware of. These things tend to happen all the time. In March 2009, Kaiser Permanente Bellflower Medical Center. These are things that you can Google and get more information about if you'd like to see how this really affects an organization. There were other medical records accessed. And I, I really chose these particular instances because medical records are very, very personal pieces of information. But of course, these instances occur in many different areas. They can be in manufacturing, in transportation, in finance. The same rules apply. It's personal information, and you should only access that information if it's something that's very, very important to what you're doing day to day.